What do you want, Sheriff? I was in the neighborhood. Thought I'd pop in and say hello. Well, fucking hello. Now you can get the fuck out of here. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I'm being nice. So try again. He hasn't been here for a few weeks. No, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, he hasn't been here in a while, if he's been here at all, which... I don't know. I'd just like some help, and I'll be out of here. Well, I'd be willing to help you out of here. Would that help? Come on. Have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of a shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, you sure you don't know him? How about I buy you a drink? How about you keep your drink and piss off? stools in this place. You got a problem, friend? I don't like you, and now you're sitting right next to me. You could ask me to move. You gonna order something, or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a lime? Sure. I think they have some at the bar down the street. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It was all right. This is fun, this back and forth. We should really do it more often, but uh, I'm starting to lose my patience. Paper towels and uh... number one or number two? For your sake, uh, I hope it was two. Otherwise, you're probably shitting your pants right now. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. This fellow put his hand on me, ended up with an axe in his head. Last fella I put my hand on, ended up in the ground. Okay, Grant. It's funny, just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you, the big bad wolf. 
No, I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? I'm not exactly comfortable with it either, but... Hey, you play the hand you're dealt. Well, some folks are forced to play with shit. That's a lovely image. Guess you want to know about the girl. Amongst other things, sure. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. And she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob them. But when I showed up, you were already there, lying in the bed. I only saved her because I thought she might give me a reward. But she didn't give me shit. Except a bunch of people thinking I'm something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. I'm dragging you back to the woodland. For what? Jesus, Bigby, that fucking hurt. Wasting my fucking time. Hey, stop! This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody! Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. And they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? You're backing the wrong guy. If you saw what I saw last night, you'd know that. What I see is someone who wouldn't be here if I was the one needing the law for some help. Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, then ushering me out the fucking door. <laughs> that all you got? Seemed to be enough. Don't be so sure. Oh, good. Should have walked out of here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me.
He's had enough. I'm the lapdog, huh? Here, fetch. You fucking monster! Whiskey. Double. Shit. It's not like you were going to pay for it anyway. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? No. If you come quietly, you'll be treated with respect. But if it turns out that you killed that girl, well, you know what that means. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. Fuck. That's not necessary. Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. Do anything stupid, and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. <laughs> <laughs> 